All right, guys, so welcome to this Salamander Lieutenant tutorial. So to begin with here, I am just putting down the base coat with Caliban Green, uh, using the airbrush just to get a nice solid coat, basically. And then next is Warpstone Glow there. So I'm onto the Warpstone Glow here now similar sort of consistency such a nice paint this one so now here i'm using a bit of pallid witch flesh and this is for the lieutenant stripe on the top of the the helmet so there's a few different ways i could have done this uh, including masking off everywhere that wasn't going to be white but I figured out it would be quicker and easier to just give a good spray of solid white where I wanted the stripe to be on top of that Caliban and then you'll see in a minute I will mask off that area so the area that's going to stay white and spray the rest with the green the warpstone green warpstone glow And then I'm just comparing the two here to make sure that that green is matching and it looks a little bit more solid on the body. So just giving it a few more sprays on the helmet there. I'm going to go back over with Warpstone Glow and then we're going to do a recess shade of Nocturne Green and we will end with a highlight of Moot Green. Right, so then we'll just start applying this all over the model. So the next thing to do is to block in the black areas. So for this, I'm going to use Vallejo model color black 17950 or however that's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, it's a nice kind of mattish black. So I'm going to start on this shoulder pad. Okay, so with the black all done, next we're going to look at blocking in the silver. So we've got lots of areas here, the sword, certain parts of the backpack and the pistol and also on the helmet. So I'm going to start with the main body. For this, I'm using um, Vallejo Model Air Italic Gunmetal. Let's try that. So I'll start on the sword here. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this tutorial. If you're new to Siege Studios, we are a premium miniature painting service with over 50 artists. Here at Siege, we offer four painting levels ranging from our bronze premium gaming quality up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So next up, we're going to block in the parchment areas and the uh, beaded fabric, I suppose there. Uh, and for that, we're going to use Shepherdy Bone to begin with. All right, so next let's block in the gold. So I'm gonna use Retributor Armor for this. So I basically want to get it to that consistency that we have the silver at. Right guys, so that is most of the gold done. 
Uh, I've also finished up on the helmet there, which is just the laurel wreath sculpt on the top. Uh, as you can see, we've got that on nice and solid in all areas. Not too many touch-ups, if any, need to be done, so that's good. Uh, but I have just decided that I want to paint these lower vents uh, in silver, so I've just popped a bit of silver back on. Just looking at it, I thought that's going to make a really nice contrast with above and below in silver. So next up, we've just got a little bit of red blocking in to do with the purity seals on the papers there. So I'm going for a base of corn red. So for the recess shade on the green, we're going to use Nocturne Green. Very fitting for Sons of Vulcan, Salamanders. So we'll get a good amount of that on there. And then I'm just going to water down with water. So we get quite a thin consistency. Let's try that. All right, so we are done with the recess shade pretty much. So the next thing we need to do is some washes. So I'm going to start with a bit of non oil. And that's going to go on the silver metallic areas. So you kind of want it to pull carefully. And to do that, we just don't have too much on the brush and build it up over a few goes rather than just slapping loads on at once. Quite happy with that. And I'll get it on the... Uh... Right, so I've switched back to my other uh, previous color palette, as you can see, and I've put a bit more green on top of the warp stone that was there. And I thinned this down quite a lot see the consistency here and now I'm just going to do some touch-ups so that is the end of part one of the tutorial I hope you enjoyed that and you can join me again for part two coming soon